My name is Ibrahim. I'm the executive director for Standard Street Manpower Limited. Essentially, one of the things we're responsible for is providing manpower to organizations as required. With regards to the CLI initiative, the Cleaner Lagos initiative, we are the key manpower providers for the street sweepers, but we will be calling them community sanitation workers. So we are responsible for hiring, managing the community sanitation workers. Currently what we're recruiting for in Agege are the community sanitation workers. We are hiring 27,500. Essentially with this, we are on course to be the largest um, employer of labor. It's a big challenge but we're up to it. However, prior to that, we've also interviewed two sets of people, area managers, and then we've also recruited supervisors. The area managers, they are more technical. They have a lot of report writing to do, a lot of managerial responsibility, for which we have um, 57 area managers. Each area manager is responsible for one LCDA. Under the area manager is where we have the supervisors. So within the LCDA, they're broken down into wards. Each would have one supervisor in each ward, of which we're taking on 377 supervisors that cover every all the wards across Lagos. And then below them, we have the, the sanitation workers. So within each ward, there are a number of sanitation workers, community sanitation workers, that would be assigned to a ward. A number of people applied through the Cleaner Lagos Initiative website but we also have direct entrants, so to speak, and those are current people who work as community sanitation workers, however, don't have access to the internet. The process in itself, um, at the entrance gate, we have barriers. The barriers have been designed in such a way that the people sort of go zigzag, and that's just to keep the, maintain the flow of traffic. Prior to that, we send text messages to um, the candidates. The text message serves as their gate pass, so to speak, because it has a code on it. Uh, once they receive that code, um, at the entrance, we give them a sticker, which has a unique ID. And that unique ID is what they would have for the duration of their employment with um, Standard Street Manpower. Now, we also have a number of people who have not registered or who just heard and are interested in the job. Uh, so what we do is we also have a separate tent for them where we go do some form of registration for them. We also ask them, talk to them about what the role is about. And if they're interested in the role, they then go back to the entrance gate, get a tag um, and a sticker, and then go into the, um, into the stadium arena. We're using two sides of the stadium. So on one end, is where the biometrics are holding, and the other side is where the, um, the HMOs are set up at the back. And once they go in there, they do their biometrics. Now, in capturing their biometrics, we take, we capture all their key information, name, date of birth, age, um, etc. And after, do, after the biometrics, they then go to do their medicals. As part of the medicals, there are various aspects involved in the medical. The first step is they do their vitals. After doing their vitals, they then do their height, their weight. We have what we call visual acuity, and that's where they check their eyesight um, for that. And then they then do um, the blood test and then urinalysis. And then from those, from the blood test and the urinalysis, there are a number of tests which um, we have to do, um, just pretty much to make sure that they are fit for for employment. Um, from the medicals, um, the next step is the exit. Now in exiting, we have a leaflet um, which we give them, which explains what SSML is all about, a bit about the Cleaner Lagos initiative, but it also has an outline of the uniform and the benefits of working as a community sanitation worker, within which once we've collected all that information, we will then um, shortlist the candidates that pass to be um, community sanitation workers. The community sanitation worker job, I believe, is a game changer um, within in Lagos. 
because everybody suddenly will realize that the streets are getting cleaner and I believe that um, we are here to stay and we will make a difference in the lives, not just the lives of the 27,000 people that will take, but the over 20 million people residents in Lagos.